remember that no matter how many mistakes you have made or how slow your progress might appear, you are still ahead of everyone who has not started. Congratulate yourself for getting up and showing up for yourself. Don't let the delay put you in despair. You will achieve your goals plus more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You are a powerful creator and all your hard work will pay off soon. Affirm, I am celebrating my work on my happiness. Hello everyone, hello, hello, and happy New Year's, happy 2023. We made it, we made it through that horrible, horrible year of 2022. Hopefully 2023 will be much better. But those of you who do not know me, I am a S. Majestic. Welcome to the Majestic family and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So this is going to be just a ramble video just to touch base. New year, new everything actually. And so we're just going to sit here and chat and talk about stuff. And there is something that I want to show you guys. But um, let's start off with affirmations. I will be doing affirmations once a week in a video. And I will be doing affirmations shorts. I'm hoping I can do it daily because it doesn't take much to sit here and do seven shorts. I can do that in like a half an hour. So um, hopefully I'll be posting um, shorts, but there'll be affirmations, positivity stuff. And hopefully me doing shorts will help grow the channel. But like I said, I also will be dropping one each week because I think everyone needs it, especially your girl. So, I have, I found a book that has affirmations, and I also found a book that has daily affirmations, um, in regards to, like, what the date is. Like, today is January 2nd, and that's what I read in the beginning of the video. I think reading affirmations in the beginning is also a good idea. So, you will be getting affirmations from me here, there, shorts, in the videos. So, don't be surprised if that is new to you. Let's talk about Patreon. 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 As many of you know, I am on Patreon and I do do our videos every single Sunday, whether it's the true crime tier or the ramble tier. You get a video every single Sunday, and if it's for some strange reason I cannot post on that Sunday, I usually make it up somewhere down the line. So I try not to cut anyone short. It's your hard earned money, and I'm trying to give you what I can. I will also be doing a wait lost keto journey. I am back on keto, keto, keto diet, keto diet, keto diet. This is day two. I will be my scale. I ordered a scale and my keto cheesecake for my smoothies, but they did not come in yet. And I am having a battle with Amazon in regards to my... <laughs> my package. So, um, yeah, that's not working out. So I actually had to reorder everything and I'm actually having it delivered to my parents' house. But once 
once my skill comes in, I will be doing a before picture like everything now. I will be in a sports bra and some shorts so I can show my before pics. And then, I'm not sure, I don't know if I'll do weekly weigh-ins or bi-weekly. I think two weigh-ins a week, I mean two weigh-ins a month is good enough. You know, um, I try not to wrap my brain on the scale too much because that, that shit can drive you crazy. That's one of my biggest mistakes I did first time around. But anyway, on my Patreon, I'll be telling you all the mistakes I did, things I've learned. Um, there's a lot of things that I will be doing differently this time around in regards to the keto diet and making it much more healthier. And so, I just did a um, grocery haul of my keto things you need to start up with, things you should always have in your refrigerator, stuff like that. I just filmed um, the grocery haul for that. Tonight, I will be filming my, I will be showing how to do my vinaigrette, um, dressing that I use with my cucumbers, and then cucumbers, 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 and then I will be making my chicken parmesan, but keto style, and I did a run yesterday, because I started my keto journey on Sunday, and I was, I, I did some little tweaks, you know, um, I'm also trying to do things that are simple, quick, and easy. The first time around, I was doing, like, complicated recipes, I was trying to learn how to make, like, keto noodles, and, you know, it, it was fun, don't get me wrong, but I can see how it can discourage people, and the first time I did this keto diet, it was during the pandemic, when we first went on lockdown, so I had nothing else to do, nothing was open, so I was able to, you know, tweak things, um, figure things out, recipes, that type of thing, so now, working with a doctor, and one of what and what I learned from before, I have a brand new approach on this keto diet, so I will be showing recipes weekly. Um, so what I plan on doing is I plan on doing like my hour, right, video for Patreon, and then the little portion that I have for the keto journey, I will just drop a separate video for that, because there might be people who don't give two shit about my weight loss journey, and that's okay. They might be, um, part of my Patreon family because they just like my rambles. So, I will be doing a separate video for keto, but I still will be doing an hour video for the ramble. So, it's just like an extra, you know, just in case anybody wants to follow um, recipes. I also will be doing like a grocery list that you should have, things you should have handy, all that stuff. So, I'm hoping that I can make this keto journey easy for myself and for you. I also will be linking in, um, I do a lot of things off YouTube as far as like exercise is concerned. I do like walk from home, dance from home, so I will be giving links on do one videos I'm doing. Like for instance, this is day two of me doing two miles, walking two miles, and I feel fucking awesome. I do it first thing in the morning when I wake up, and it's like, you got it out of the way, and I feel good that I actually did it and completed it. You gotta start somewhere. If you can't do two miles, do one, but just make goals for yourself, you know? In 2023, it's all about goals, so let's talk about goals. So anyway, if you want to follow my weight loss journey, please think about joining my Patreon. But goals, I think it's very important for people to have goals. I have a goal calendar on the back of my door. Not everyone needs to see it. You can put it in your closet or whatever, but weekly, I put out things I want to accomplish. Like, I have, um, two rest days for exercise. 
exercise on my calendar and I'm doing them different days, you know, break it up, don't it, let it be the same shit every week, you know, um, I also have like Mondays, I do my YouTube recordings, Thursday I will do my Patreon recordings and, you know, in between it's just like research, dashing, um, learning more, edit things, you know, I'm trying to keep myself busy. I know a lot of people are depressed, you know, in the beginning of the year. I get it, because trust me, I am one of them, but I'm tired. I'm tired of being depressed. I am so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Um, I think this year, the biggest approach I'm going to do differently is own up to your shit. Just own it up. Like, I know I have to lose weight. You know, own up to it. You know, if you have to step your game up or something else, you know what you have to do. It's like, stop making excuses, but also to make realistic goals. And I said that about, I already talked about realistic goals in my other videos. But yes, realistic goals. Um, even if it's like reading a book, I also want to get back into reading because it's about that time because nothing is holding my attention on TV. Absolutely nothing. I have realized that I spend more time on YouTube trying to find something to make me laugh because I'm having my, my moments. I don't even put my TV on anymore. And if my TV is on, I'm still watching YouTube off my iPad. So it's like nothing is really holding my attention. By the way, I watched um, two movies. Um, the first one was the Marilyn Monroe, which we need to talk about right now. But the other one was um, I Want to Dance with Somebody, the new Whitney Houston movie. Listen. I love me some Whitney. I loved me some Whitney. And anytime I see a Whitney movie, all I can say is, damn, Whitney. Damn. That being said, um, <laughs> okay, but this movie was probably one of the best of the Whitney Houston stories, right? Because I think her mother had more involvement in it, and it, it talks about, you know, Whitney's relationship with her best friend that was a female, and then Bobby, but I like the fact how they didn't dwell so much on her, her drug addiction and Bobby, right? So, we, we got a little into, like, how Whitney, you know, was in a studio, and this is now we got a little more of actual Whitney versus what we see, what we did see in the tabloids, right? All that being said, I don't think it really brought much to the table, and I don't want to say it was the actress, because I think she did a phenomenal job. She nailed, you know, her Whitney's attitude, her gestures, it just, there was something off about, I don't know what it was, but, I mean, it wasn't terrible, it wasn't great, and like I said, the only thing I appreciate is the fact that we didn't dwell so much on Bobby Brown, and there was a moment in the movie when they finally called it quits, and she admitted that the drugs were there before Bobby, and Bobby was like, yeah, well, I wish you would tell them that, meaning the world, because a lot of people blame Bobby for Whitney's drug habit, but baby, 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 that was not the case, you know, Whitney had her issues way before then, and so, um, you can check it out if you want to. Personally speaking, I would tell you to skip it, but to each his own, right? <clears throat> Next, um, Marilyn Monroe. I have been trying to push this video out. I don't know what's going on with that, but, um, it's just, it, it's, I don't know, there's something I'm saying in that video, and I'm not actually getting it. I have redid that video, redone that video a couple of times. At first, I thought it was the conspiracy theory that I added on to the end of the video, right? Because there has been a lot of speculations in regards to Marilyn Monroe's death. So, I thought maybe it was the conspiracy theory part, because I took that out. Then I dropped it. Nope. Then I thought maybe it was because I went in on the whole JFK 
situation in Marilyn Monroe and I don't know what it is but I the video is just not going through um, I'm tired of trying in 2023 I'm not letting anything you know upset me or aggravate me right so three strikes I'm out I'm done I don't know like I said I don't know what it is I took little parts out I redid it thinking maybe it was this maybe it was too much curse and no matter what I did it's I, I don't know I'm over it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my Marilyn Monroe babies. I thought maybe if I just do a fun fact on her, maybe that would go through. But maybe it's the story that I I don't I don't know. I mean, she didn't have an easy life. I honestly don't know. And guys, I it is what it is. I like I said, I might try the fun fact, but I don't know. But anyway, that movie Blondie on Netflix on Marilyn was complete trash, 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 trash. It, like, it made her seem like she was just, oh, you know, and there was more scenes, if you can read my mouth, like, and I didn't like that. It was just way too much. Seem as if like she didn't have a brain or a mouth for herself. She seemed I don't know, I did not like the way they portrayed her in this video in that movie, Blondie on Netflix. It was horrible, it was horrible, it was horrible. And then if you go back into it, like there was an article that I read, like what was fiction, what was real in the Blondie thing, right? With Marilyn Monroe, and half the shit we saw on Netflix was wasn't even the truth. So Oh, maybe that's what it was. I don't know, because I actually sat there and said what was true and not true on the Netflix documentary or movie on Marilyn Monroe. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. I don't have the energy to fight with anyone. YouTube. I am trying to stay off YouTube's radar. So, next up on the list is Baby Girl Aaliyah. Oh, shit. And there's new development. Like, I cannot wait to dive in into Aaliyah. Um, I, I, I really can't. That, that, that death almost... Not Aaliyah. So, um... Also, do what to come on my YouTube channel for 2023. Well, I don't plan on changing a damn thing. I don't plan on changing a damn thing. I, I, I'm not. Um, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I am not going to say I'm going to post like Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. I'm not. I'm just going to post the way I've been posting. You get the video when I get there. I sometimes think like when artists do that, you know, say, oh, okay, I'm gonna put a, a video every single day or every other day, and you don't, it's just like setting yourself up for failure in regards to, there might be people who expect that everyday video or expect that video every Wednesday, and I'm just not going to put any expectations like that on my channel because, like I said, you get a video when I get it, <laughs> when I get to it, and that's it. It's just hard. It's really hard because life gets in thrown in the mix. And then next thing you know, it's Monday. Next thing you know, it's Friday. You know, so um, I will not be putting a schedule on um, how many videos or what day I will be putting them out. But, you know, but I will s still be sticking to what the Thursdays um, asked my Mondays we will do. I'm trying to spice up the Ask Majestic Mondays because just asking people for questions, it's like I'm getting the same questions or I try to switch it up with like, would you rather, but um, I'm getting like the same repetitive questions, so I'm going to try to find a way to spice up the Ask Majestic. I still will be doing the Facebook Fast Rounds. I think that's everyone's favorite. I will be doing celebrity 
um, stories, scandals, fun facts on celebrities, stuff like that. More fun facts, period. Let's bring back the fun facts. Um, more Goosebumps reading. I did not realize how many people really like the Goosebumps reading. I swear to God, I thought after the month of October for Halloween, because I did scary readings that whole month, I thought this family was over it. I thought none of y'all wanted to hear any more readings again. Um, 31 days was enough. So, um, well, I shouldn't say 31 days because I didn't drop a video every single day, but you get it. The whole month of October was just like readings. So I thought y'all were just over it, but then I'm getting like the request in for more goosebumps. So I got y'all. I actually love if I could do just one thing on my channel, just one, which is really not a good idea, but I would just read goosebumps. I love it. I think they're fun. They, they keep everyone's attention. They keep my attention. They're cute. They're armless. So, um, if I could, I would, but, you know, one thing about YouTube, you gotta, you, you don't want to keep yourself in one niche, right? You want to be, do different things, which is why I always try different things on my channel, different topics, um, you know, so that's what to come. I also want, I also want to talk about, many of you are not listening, 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 listening. Many of you are not listening, 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 listening. Many of you do not understand the power of the word, no. 20, 23, make it make sense. The word no has so much power. Half of y'all don't even understand the power of the word no, right? In 2023, we need to say no more often. Why? Because we are putting ourselves first. Us first, us first, us first. That's it. Period. The end. It is about us. I have noticed I was sitting here recapping like 2022 and I might not talk about it, you know. I don't talk about everything I do, but there are people who reach out who need help with this and need help with that. And I noticed that not one person, not one person, well, that's a lot, only one, I guess, um, but there is only one one person that we did for one another, right? So, like, the the communication is equal, you know, even for the holidays, equal, birthdays, equal. We get one another. It's not just one side friendship, but even in relationships, like, I'm tired of shit just always being one way, and it's always me trying to please other people, and I'm fucking over it. Like, except for jazz, I don't see, you know, I'm talking about like in my real, real life, not like, you know, social media, nothing like that, because social media, you know, that's a whole different family, you guys are awesome, but, um, it just, like, just in real life, <clears throat> like in my life, like checking up on me, like having a decent, grown conversation, only one person, one, one, and that's jazz, and that's why, you know, I, I, I don't want to show, like, our gifts or whatever, because I really cherish our friendship, but this year, I'm fucking over it. I am not dealing with anybody that doesn't, that's not equal to me. Um, the word no is probably going to be the number one word of the year is no, 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 no. Um, I don't say no very often, but God damn it, this year will be no. I am over it. I'm all, if 2022 did not open up my eyes in regards to no one, everyone always expects me to fix their shit, right? But when does someone help me fix mine? You know, and it doesn't have to be like money, just a phone call, just give me an idea. Like I, it's just amazing how people like to take, 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 and then get nothing, give nothing in return, and then get mad when you say the word no. Like what you say? I will never forget the moment that I told Navy bitch no like two years ago, and I I bring him up because he was. 
was a narcissist, right? He had a lot of issues, controlling issues, all of it. And I'm always the one, like, negotiating and this is and that. But finally, I had enough because I realized I wasn't getting back what I was giving. And the moment I said no, his whole face, he was like, what did you say? Bitch, I said no. That's what the fuck I said. Like, and after that, like, every our relationship just went down, you know, from that because... You know, people don't like the word no, but yet people don't like the word no, but yet people don't like to give either. It's like, are you kidding me? I'm, I'm fucking over it. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. Um, you know, there comes a point in life that you, you like to see some type of something given back to you, right? Because like everyone, a lot of people are relying on me, but who do I rely on? You, you know what I'm saying? And again, it's not about money. It just can be just checking up on somebody. Just so you, you know what I'm saying. But some of y'all ain't listening. Y'all need to say the word no. Get those toxic people out your fucking life. Blocking system. Blocking season is in full effect. Full effect, full effect, full effect. And you better take advantage of that shit. <laughs> full force. Um, the power of the word no. Oh my god. I I'm so done. I am so done. If, you know, I'm always the one calling you, I'm over it. Um, if I'm always the one, get, you know, handing out stuff, I'm over it. I, I'm, I'm so done. I am so focused on myself. That's why I chose to go back on this keto diet for at least six months and then switch over to a low carb, um, diet. I, I just can't. It's all about me. Everyone else is like moving forward doing all this stuff and I'm like worrying about what this person thinks and this person. I'm fucking over it. Over it. Over it. Over it. I'm fucking done. I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing me. It is what it is. Um, also too, just want to mention a little bit about someone. There's a couple people who mentioned about in my videos at the end of my videos and I'm not taking them out I'm not it's bad enough that I don't do ads throughout my videos and I know many ASMR artists do right and I think throughout the video truthfully no hate do what you want but I just think that defeats the whole purpose right like every two minutes there's gonna be an ad in a ASMR video that's crazy to me but at the same time, I still have to make coins. I still have rent to pay, right? I don't have a nine to five. Many of you know this. Many of you know I do this internet thing for money. Um, so I gotta, I got to get my coins where I get it. So I have ads in the beginning of my videos and at the end. But if I take those away, it's like I'm doing YouTube for free. And again, between my mental and my health, this is what break brings in money for me to pay my rent. And bitch, my rent is high, okay? So that being said, I will not take video um, the ads out of beginning or end. I have to get my revenue somewhere, you know? So... Um, but I don't believe in putting ads in the middle of the video. Well, for ASMR anyway. And there's some people, like, if there's ads in the video of ASMR, I'm clicking out. I am because, again, that just defeats the whole purpose, you know? So, um, <clears throat> the only thing I can might change is maybe to, maybe I can see if I can not do, like, a loud ad at the end. I can see if I can look into that, you know, um, but yeah, the little ads I do have, I need to keep in there, because I, I, I need to make some type of, of, of coins, of coins, I live in New York, I live in New York, rent is high, baby, rent is high, my rent is 19.50, don't play with me, I need my ads, so, that's with that, um, also do, and I'm gonna go, I okay so I wanted to do something different this year right so I decided that I'm gonna start collecting the what are these called um mini brands the mini brands and um yeah I'm gonna start doing collecting 
collection is like little mini things they have like this one is well it says 130 plus minis to collect and this one i think this one's more like the supermarket like little it it is so cute it has like the little mayonnaise and stuff i want to do like a whole table of this shit ask me why i don't know but you know i every person that i know in my family anyway they collect something they got something going on whether it's clocks whether it's trains whether it's something i'm the only one who doesn't really have much of a collection type of thing but i just thought this shit was so cute so if i can do a whole village or something like that i will so i will be opening up some of these well not some of them all of them in a video so i have this one like I said, this one looks like the, um, like the food and for the, the grocery all as you can see. And then this one here, um, this is another one. I think this one is, I think there's a more like, like the people or something. I don't know. But, um, or these are like little mini toys. These are so cute. But yeah, there's actually what this microphone is standing on. It's a whole box of these little mini things. And then we have an unboxed new mini toy. This one, this. I don't know. I don't know what's in them, but um, I definitely want to start doing this. I was watching, um, oh, Zachary Michaels. I was watching his video, and um, he was reacting to another YouTuber, and they were opening up these, and he was so amped for it, and I was more amped than he was. He was like, let's fucking go, and I'm like, yes, let's fucking go. I was so hyped to see what she got, but that's when I decided that I would do this, so thank you, Zachary Michaels, for this um, idea, but I just want to do something, um, just something with my time, um, uh, I don't know, this one is a hundred plus minis to collect, so I guess they all have, like, their little... Because this one says 130 to collect. This one says um, 100 and plus. 